I'm sure every human changes from being 16 to 26. Break a mirror, roll the dice, run with scissors through a chip and fire fight. Go into business with a... A, lot, a few of our friends were in bands who were our age as well and you'd go and watch them play at like a pub or a local venue and it had seemed so, so far away from what anything you could do, even doing that, and that were like his first, his first thing were to be able to be good enough to like, just play a gig. We didn't know where to start really, like you buy equipment, get in a room and like, start working covers out or whatever. So all we wanted then was to just do the next step, so we practice a year before we even did the first gig. There were never any big thing like I want to be playing you know, all over the world or I want to... Because you didn't think, you didn't, it just didn't seem like a realistic thing. It was like, we were happy to play in the local pub and like that was kind of a big achievement. The first few gigs we ever did were we played his own, a few of his own songs that we had, and then uh, like half and half, yeah. and then yeah, and then I think we like realised we were actually better at playing his own songs <laughs> and doing covers. <laughs> uh, so. It was hard to do a cover. It's, it's, yeah, he was hard. But even though like the first record's got stuff on it that you know it's still quite difficult to play now for me. But I think it's just because of it. We like wrote fast songs, so everyone, you know, like that's all you knew. And then when you when you leave it for a bit and go back to play it, like, did we actually play it that fast? And like, you know, it's quite difficult to recreate it. It seems natural for us to just do something different. A lot of people want us to do stuff like the first record forever, but but then the majority of people have they've also grown up like another five years like we are. 